Hi guys, and welcome back to our youth devotional series on Joshua. Okay, so we start out part one looking at the backgrounds of Moses and Joshua and the preparations that God had set before them in order for them to step into their leadership calling. So we laid down a foundation and we ended in Joshua chapter one, where God charges Joshua to be strong, courageous, and obedient to God's word. So today we're gonna look at how that applies to you. How does a charge from 1446 BC apply to a young person in 2021? So here's the message. This is what God is speaking over your life today. God is saying that I have not forgotten about the calling that I placed on your life. I have not forgotten about the preparations that I have for you and your preparations start today. So just like God didn't forget about that little baby that he set aside 76 years before the Israelites cried out for help. And just like he did not forget about that young man who showed courage and strength 40 years before the Israelites needed a leader to help them take over the promised land. He was preparing them and God is preparing you. So what we're gonna do is we are going to read Joshua chapter one, verses one through 16. I want you guys to read this on your own and I want you to pick one verse, one scripture that speaks to you and I want you to write it down. And then I want you to have a conversation with God and ask him to highlight to you one area in your life where he is calling you to be a leader, where he is calling you to show strength and courage. And I want you to be obedient and be obedient to God's word. And remember that the Bible tells us that when Jesus spoke, he had an authority inside of him that caused people to listen. And the Bible says that the same power that was in Christ that caused him to rise up from the dead is still alive in you today. So you have everything you need inside of you to be strong and courageous and you know God's word. So be obedient to God and thank you guys so much for listening today. Have a great week. Bye.